Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day 31 of my 31 days of Halloween challenge. It feels so strange saying that. We are on the final day of this challenge guys. So this is my last Halloween look of the year and today I'm bringing you this punk skull. So I've seen the wigs and makeup manager using spikes for her makeup looks but I very much made this my own. So I'm starting off by applying my Snazaru face paint all over my face. So I've used the pink shade for the bottom half of the face and the purple shade for the top half. So once that's somewhat blended, I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette to set that in place. So as you can see, I'm using a mixture of these pink and purple shades just to apply that on top of that face paint. And I'm blending that in with a big fluffy brush. And once that's applied, I'm going in with my black face paint. This is by the Mayron Paradise palette. And I'm just drawing on a basic skull. So I've gone in with the eye socket there on the right. I went to draw on the left eye socket, then realised I am going to be applying an eye patch later. So that's what that is there. And then drew on the skull nose and cheekbones as I usually do. And I know I'm kind of speeding through this bit guys, but I have loads of skull tutorials if you want to go and check them out. Um, and it's always good to have a reference photo of a skull as well. I'm just drawing on the teeth here. So I always draw the teeth in sort of teardrop shapes. I just find that works best for my skull looks. Also I thought I'd quickly mention that my wig is from Amazon guys if you're wondering. I had it like two years ago now, but if I can find it, I'll link it below for you guys. I'm then just filling in that entire eye socket and cheekbones with the same face paint. And then just add in some further cracks and details to the rest of that skull. Taking the black shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using this to add some shading around the mouth area there. So adding shading or contouring to a skull look or any makeup look actually will make it look a lot more three dimensional. I'm also adding some root detail to the teeth there as you can see. And just outlining the edge of that cheekbone. Going back in with the Mayron palette and picking up the white shade to add some highlights to the teeth. So you just want to think about where the light would naturally hit and just apply that highlight to one side of each tooth. And here is where I realised that I needed to apply my eye patch underneath my wig. So I just had to take it off quickly there to pop the eye patch on before applying the rest of the spikes and diamonds to my face. So I ordered the spikes off eBay guys. I'll make sure to link them down below for you. And the gold glitter studs were from the range. I also made the eye patch myself beforehand. So I just stuck the spikes on with some Prosade and let it dry before applying it to my face. So I wanted to apply those spikes around my eye socket there. So I just applied a little bit of Prosade in order to stick them in place. I don't recommend applying Prosade around your eye guys, um, especially if you're a beginner. Also don't get it in your eyebrow like I did. Big mistake. I then realised I needed to apply my lashes before continuing with the rest of the spikes there. So I just went in with my LK Cosmetics lashes in the style LK1. 
I'm then going in to apply the studs to my face. So these came in a pack of all different shapes and sizes which were amazing. So I'm just applying them randomly all over my face. There's no method to my madness here. I then found this piece of costume jewellery which I've actually had for years guys and I thought it went perfectly with this look um, and I also ordered these extra long spikes on eBay but they were way too heavy for the rest of my face so I decided to apply them to my jawline there and they weren't standing out as much as I wanted them to so I decided to paint my neck black and it looked so much better. It really stood out against the black face paint, so I'm so glad I did that. And there we have it guys, the final look of this challenge complete. I just want to say a huge thank you to you all for your support over the past 31 days. You've all been absolutely amazing. I do have a, another exciting video coming this week guys with a giveaway just to say a big thank you for all your support. Please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Head over and follow me on my Instagram to see all photos of the 31 day challenge. Thank you so much for watching again guys. Happy Halloween and I'll see you all really soon. Bye!